Everybody, hello everybody and welcome back to Breslov Research Institute, Breslov.org. Well, we're going to continue in the parasha. And, uh, well, we know when Yaakov, when it came by Yifka Bamakim, and he came to that place, we know that uh, Yaakov was tired. He had learned Torah in Yeshiva Shem Be'eber for the years that he was there. And uh, the Medrus says that he never slept. But now that he was on his journey, he got tired. Well, he took the stone, and we all know the thing. He took 12 stones, and the stones were fighting. Which stone should be under the head of the tzaddik? And then there was a nace that happened that all the stones turned to one, one stone. All right, anyway, and when Yaakov was sl- sleeping, he saw that there was a sulam, the moots of Arza, the roishay megia shemaiba. Now, what's the significance of this ladder? And what's the significance? And there were malachim, there were oilim v'yaradim by. And there were malachim that were going up and down. What's the significance of this? And why did he see this dream? And what was going on? Well, Rav Nassim has a beautiful teaching uh, based on the Kuti Maran that, uh, that we have to understand that Adam, Bechol HaToli Bay, Benil every person that whatever we have and whatever, whatever is a, 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 a attached to us and things like that. So you know, we read the parish and we think that, well, Yaakov had the Sula Mutzav Arts of Roshim Okay, good. Hey, what does that have to do with me? Comes along with us and says it does. That we have to see this in our life, that everything in our life is this ladder. Sula Mutzavatsa, there's a ladder that's planted deep in the ground, it's down in the ground. Viroi Shaimagia Shmaiman, it reaches all the way up to heaven. Now he says, Kikol Dava Yesh Loi Shoirish Lamala, because everything we have here, there's a Shoirish, it, it's rooted up on high. Don't think anything down here is a, a mundane thing that we have. Everything that we have. Is really rooted up in Shemayim. Even though that in this place, it's in the ground. We're 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 in the trenches. It's enclosed in physicality. Because there's a chokma. There's a seichel that goes all the way up on high. Don't be drawn after the gashmias part, the physicality. Look, you know, you sit down and you can have a, you have to eat a sandwich, you have to eat something. So, so you want to sit down and eat it and, 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 and just for the sake, sake of eating it? Or do you want to? Or do you want to find out what's the seichel shabachal davar? I'll tell you a little story. There was a there's a there's a little anecdote that uh, there was a, a misnagid. So when there was against Hasidus, that uh, that we had the misfortune of having to have to travel through a uh, through a Hasidic town, and he would have to be there for a couple of days, and he was uh, he was he was he was. Uh, Dreading the fact they would have to be amongst Hasidim for for a couple of days. Well, he w- came there, and then the next morning he goes to shul. And in the morning, uh, he sees the Zareb in the front, and the Rebbe puts on his talis, and he puts on his tefillin, and the Rebbe davens. She says, ah, "That's a Rebbe. I do the same thing. I put on a talis. I put on my tefillin. So what's uh, uh, what's the significance of the Rebbe?" So then he sees, after they finish davening, he sees the Rebbe sits down, he takes an apple out of his drawer, and he, and he sits down, he cuts the apple up, he makes a brook, and he eats the apple. So, a Rebbe, but I also eat apples. <laughs> As a matter of fact, he says, tomorrow morning, I'm going to make sure to bring an apple to shul, and then after we finish davening, I'll sit down and eat my apple also. Ah, listen to this. The next morning, the kachav. Next morning he comes in, and the rebbe puts on his talis and he puts on his tefillin and he davens and he sits down with his apple, and this guy pulls out his apple and the rebbe sees this young this this fellow in the back and the rebbe calls him over. Give a hand. Come over here. 
And so the Rebbe says to him, hey, you know, it's, let me tell you something. You know, you're absolutely right about what you're thinking. And you, you put on a talus and you dive in with your tefillin, and I put on a talus, I dive with my tefillin. You're right. And, and, uh, and uh, well, you eat an apple and I eat an apple, he said. But there's only one difference between my eating the apple and you eating the apple. And what's that? See, I want to make the bracha, birchas nenen. I want to make a bracha. Bayre baracha to Hashem elekeinu melech oilam, bayre priya eitz. I want to make that bracha bari priyates. Now, in order for me to be able to make that bracha, I need an apple. I need an apple. Because if I don't have the apple, I can't do it. But you want to eat the apple, and therefore you make the bracha. That's a little, uh, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a nuance. But in other words, the Rebbe was only eating the apple because he wanted the opportunity to make the bracha. Because he saw the seichel shabachal dover. He saw the chachma elyon. He understood it. But the, young, the, the other man didn't understand it. He didn't understand it. He just wanted to eat the apple. He saw the physicality of the apple. And that's all it was. He didn't understand that it's something great that it can, allows him to make a bracha. Now, this same lesson, uh, it, it, you can attach it to anything you want. Uh, there, was a, there was a great uh, tzaddik that lived in, in New York. His name was Rabbi Vigna Miller Zetzal. And he said a wonderful thing. He said many wonderful things, but I want to share one of them uh, that I saw from him. He said, when you eat something, you're supposed to say, Kedei lahavrois es haguf lelavrois es Hashem elekecha. I'm eating this, uh, whatever the case may be, I'm eating a, a, an apple, I'm eating a steak, I'm eating a, 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 a hot dog, whatever I'm eating. I'm eating this, Kedei lahavrois es in order to give vitality to my body, in order to serve Hashem. That's why I'm eating it. Other people sit down and eat because I love to eat a steak. Good. Enjoy the steak. No problem. Make the bracha. But say I'm eating the steak so that you give me koiches so I can sit down and learn. So that you give me koiches so I can go, so I can go daven properly. So I can do a chesed to people. That's why I want to do it. Listen, I want to wish everybody to understand that this Sula Mutzavar, Rabbi Nachman is teaching us is such an, a vital thing to find the seichel shabachol dover in everything in your life. I give you a bracha that everyone should be able to find the seichel shabachol dover in each thing in their life, whatever it is, whatever the case may be. If they have a car, the car they're going to use the car in order to go shopping to buy food for Shabbos. They're going to use the car in order to take the kids to yeshiva so they can learn Torah. That's the seichel shabachol dover. And you can apply this to anything you want. Anything. All right, so I wish everyone that they should be able to do that. And I wish everyone a wonderful day. And again, thank you for listening. And if you enjoyed this video, please share it with others and hit the like button. Thank you very much.